Hey guys, it's going to be a one take again today. Um, probably about five days behind the vlogs again, which is ridiculous because I told myself after this week, or when I started doing the daily tick goals, that I wouldn't be buying anymore. I never ended up printing off my tick goal things, so I haven't actually been doing them properly. I've been doing most things pretty well, but that's fallen by the wayside. I'm almost certain that I'm going to print them at work tonight because I'm going in to leave, so I want to get them printed. And because phase three starts tomorrow officially, so tomorrow is exactly 30 days. I can't explain it. In one year, in, oh, I can't even fucking explain it. On the 10th of October last year, I started 75 hard, my successful attempt of 75 hard. Which means that this time a year ago, I was 30 days, pretty much 30 days away from starting my successful attempt. So that's what phase three is. You do it in the last 30 days before you start 75 hard the year before. So it takes a whole year to complete the entire cycle. Um, I'm actually not even considering the fact that it's going to be really difficult. Um, the only thing that's going to be difficult as a result of phase four lockdowns in Victoria is the conversations with strangers. I'm planning on just walking Maggie, having talks with people that have dogs. Um, I've also spoken to Emily, I'm a pretty shy person, so for me, a conversation with a stranger could even involve making sure that I go through the register at the supermarket and actually starting a conversation with, hey, how's your day going, sort of thing. Uh, and actually asking some additional questions. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, if I don't fully reach what I think is a conversation with a stranger every day for the phase three, I'm not going to say I haven't passed the program. I'm just going to force myself to go out there and talk to someone. Even if it, um, I think I'll also rely on maybe giving people compliments. Um, but starting a conversation based on the compliment, saying, hey, they're really cool shoes. And then saying, where did you get them from? Yeah, awesome. I like your style. Um, that sort of thing. To me, that's pushing yourself and um, having a conversation with someone. So yeah, it's, it's daunting, but I, I feel like I can make it happen. They're going to be long days, I think that. Um, I'm on another night shift before the end of 75, before the end of phase three. So I'm pretty sure the night shift finishes around the time phase three finishes. So. In terms of exercise and conversation with strangers and doing all of the requirements, including the five minute share and the ten minutes of visualization, all that stuff, it's going to take a really long amount of time. If you look at it, I need at least an hour and a half worth of exercise, and it's a little bit more once you count, like faffing about. Ten minutes of visualization, five minutes of showering, that's another 15 minutes, so that's an hour and 45. Plus powerless tasks, they're going to be probably at least five minutes each, so that's two hours, probably more, more like two and a half hours. So two and a half hours plus the 10 pages of reading takes me about 20, between 15 minutes and half an hour. So that's about three hours worth of stuff that I have to do every day on top of hopefully six to eight hours of sleep, about nine hours of work. Yeah, it's going to be hectic. But I'm certain that I can do it because in reality I was able to do 75 hard for 75 days in a row and that included about two hours worth of mandatory stuff so only an extra hour. I'm pretty keen. Um, I'm very excited for the changes I can make in my physique. I've got to remember to take my progress photos. Um, I'm going to weigh myself pretty often during this one. I don't know why I've got the inclination to but I just feel like I want to see daily progress and I feel like because I'm going to be aggressive with my calories and eat 1500 and doing a lot of exercise, I can probably weigh myself daily and see changes most days. Um, might, might, might do it like maybe two or three times a week instead of daily so that I don't have too many fluctuations. But yeah, it's really exciting. 30 days of 1500 calories. And I was saying to Emily, the exercise I'm planning on doing probably going to be burning about a thousand calories a day which means I'm going to be in a very aggressive de de deficit um, with no cheat meals, no alcohol. I'm not sure how much I'll weigh tomorrow because I'm probably going to have alcohol and stuff tonight so I'm probably going to be like 78 kilos or something insane like that. I reckon by the end of phase three I'll be maybe 67, 68 kilos. 
which is pretty good. We'll see though, because um, nothing's nothing's written in stone in this world unless you make it happen. Um, and I was saying to Emily before, I love having so much space on the memory card to film. I actually plan on perpetuating it for a little bit after it's over. Um, I plan on going back up to 2,000 calories or like making my calories a little bit more flexible and then counting my cheat meals like I did initially for a little while there. But yeah, it's really exciting. I'm excited to see the changes. Like I said, I'm hovering between 70 and 75. I want to hover between 65 and 70 after phase three um, for good. Slowly whittle it down. Um, like I keep saying, and like I was talking about yesterday, if I can continue to be injury free with uh, the running, by the time I'm back to running like 30, 35 k's a week on top of weightlifting, I'll actually be able to eat quite a lot. Um, oh, and if I'm eating like 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day and then having big cheap meals on the weekend and alcohol and all that sort of stuff, I'll probably still lose or be maintaining at about 60 something kilos. So I know I talk about weight a lot. I don't think weight's that important. I don't think weighing yourself isn't necessarily important other than a measure of um, linear progress. At the same time, obviously, you've got to do things like measurements and photographs. I weighed maybe 70, like I said, between 70 and 75 right now. I was weighing about 71, 72 when I was doing phase, when I was doing 75 hard initially and doing CrossFit a lot. I can guarantee you I had a better physique when I was doing CrossFit a lot because I had bigger muscles. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I'm about to go meditate before work. I didn't take Maggie for a walk today, so I'm on a woefully low amount of steps. But that's okay, because I have no excuses after today, because it's phase three. So pretty much what I'm planning on doing for all my outdoor workouts is taking Maggie on a 45 minute walk. Um, so they won't be as, t as intense as my 75 hard walks, because I used to go on proper walks just by myself, and Maggie obviously stops to sniff occasionally. But um, it's still getting out there and doing the walking. I'm going to be running three times a week as well on top of that. Um, and I'm planning on doing 45 minutes worth of lifting most days. And most days I'm also planning on going on a bike for a bit. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait. I'm filming. I've filmed for almost eight minutes, so I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you're well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I just ended the vlog, but I'm going to resume it again because I just received a package. I ordered these shoes from AliExpress. Um, they were $30, they're about $60 on um, Amazon. They were Waya branded, so I can't see any branding. So I don't know if they're a knockoff or what, but anyway, they're barefoot shoes. As you can see, they've got a really wide toe box. Um, they literally cost me $30, and the same brand of shoes on Amazon cost like 60 bucks. So I'm really excited to try them. They definitely look very goofy. Not about how they look, obviously. Not a, uh, it's not a, an aesthetic decision. It's more a functional decision. I'm thinking it's gonna help give me much stronger feet because they're quite, uh, they've got no drop. And the wide toe box, they're gonna make my feet way stronger. So, I'm really interested to give him a crack. Um, I'll have to save them for my walk with Maggie tomorrow. I'll let you know how they go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.